Well, it won't be long in your balloon twisting career before you are asked for a sword. Swords are a lot of fun, very, very simple, and very, very popular. For this, we are going to inflate the balloon and leave about one or two inches of tail. Really, you can get away with almost zero tail if you want to. I like having a little bit of a tail because it adds a little extra point to the sculpture. Now, this is practically a sword right here. The only thing that we're going to do to make it a little more elaborate is we are going to add two fold twists as the hand guards. Now, I'm going to show you the uh, regular way to do it, which was much like the elephant ears. And then I'm going to show you a little shortcut, a trick for creating two fold twists right next to each other, which will prove valuable for you. Start the side with the knot. We're going to do a fold pinch and twist and then fold again once again approximating the first fold pinch it right into the joint and twist now this would be an elephant head but we're going to make it a sword so we're just going to move everything around so that the blade and the handle are on opposite sides sword very simple now if we want to do the quick method, I'll show you a little trick. I'll unfold the balloon, straighten it out. We can do a double fold twist by uh, creating an S, and I'll show you what I mean. Take the balloon, I'm going to fold it once, say so we'll fold it right about there, and then I'll fold it a second time so that I make uh, an S or a double fold. Now all I need to do is grab it right in the middle and squeeze and twist, very much like the fold twist. And you'll see you can do two fold twists in one effort. Straighten everything out. Sword. 